In the previous episode of What Makes a Movie Line Memorable, we ended with a song. The answer, my friend, is a blowing in the wind. Bob Dylan's Blowing in the Wind is a mass of rhetorical questions, but it also contains an epistrophe. When you end each sentence with the same word, that's epistrophe. When every clause finishes with the same word, that's epistrophe. When every paragraph finishes with the same words, una domanda retorica. No, that was the last episode. That's still an epistrophe. I remember when I moved in Half the songs ever written are just extended examples of epistrophe. We know that at the end of every verse, then Cohen will finish up with the word hallelujah. hallelujah. So bye bye, Miss American Pie. Don McLean finishes off every single verse with the whole chorus of bye bye, Miss American Pie. And when a brother finishes off a three year relationship, he can't get mad because if he liked it, he should have put a ring on it. That's epistrophe. It's just a figure of speech. Huh? Okay, bye. Epistrophe is the trope of obsession. It's the trope of... Epistrophe... Epistrophe is the trope of obsession, of coming back to one thing again and again and again. Wherever you are in the world, you'll always be dancing in the street. Whatever question Bob Dylan asks, the answer will always be blowing in the wind. It's built into the structure of the song. That's epistrophe. The answer is blowing in the wind. Just a figure of speech, Rob. But in literature and film, epistrophe can be a lot more subtle. It can be used as a vehicle for teenage angst. Don't you ever talk about my friends. You don't know any of my friends. You don't look at any of my friends. And you certainly wouldn't condescend to speak to any of my friends. But Judd Nelson wasn't the first angry user of epistrophe. For the finest example, we need to go back to 1948. Vouchers? We ain't got no vouchers. We don't need no vouchers. I don't have to show you any stinking vouchers. In The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, the line is used by a bandit leader who refuses to prove that he's a policeman. But over the years, filmmakers have reworked it as a homage. You don't need no stinking benches, no? <laughs> and sometimes as parody. Spinach? We don't need no stinking spinach. Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. It has been referenced in everything from Hollywood blockbusters like Six Underground. Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. To underground indie gems like a. Uh, Zombie strippers. Badgers? Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. The line has been so cannibalized that in Bubble Boy, the Danny Trejo character is probably not directly referencing Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Badgers! But instead, Troop Beverly Hills from 1989. We don't need no stinking badgers. I could use some stinky badgers. The line has all but lost its initial meaning, but we still recognize it because it retains its formula. Badgers? As an alternative to the aggression of stinking badges, epistrophe can also be used for hopeful, cheer every repetition formula that makes the greatest speech in the Grapes of Wrath. Wherever there's a fight so hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Wherever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. And when the people are eating the stuff they raise and living in the houses they build. I'll be there too. But these ideas don't really get to the heart of epistrophe. They use it, but they don't inhabit it. Because epistrophe, by its very nature, has an underlying sense of no, you can't. <laughs> wherever you start out and wherever you go, you will always end up in the same place back where you started. Epistrophe is much more natural when you're in trouble. In fact, epistrophe is ideally suited to death because death is the huge human epistrophe and all biographies end in the same way. 
Shell Turlestein was many things, but above all, he was my friend. When I didn't get a date with Fiona Gunderson, Shell was there. When I didn't get to play the part of Tevia, Shell was there. And when a raccoon broke into my room, unfortunately, Shell was there. Epistrophe is probably at its most natural in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, where an angry gang boss uses it to explain his terms to an unfortunate fellow who's accidentally crossed him. If you hold back anything, I'll kill you. If you bend the truth, or I think you're bending the truth, I'll kill you. If you forget anything, I'll kill you. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard to stay alive, Nick. Now, do you understand everything I've said? Because if you don't, I'll kill you. Death is an apostrophe, an apostrophe is death. But. I like big butts. Apostrophe works wonderfully with a good but. I hate big butts and I cannot lie. You demonstrate that all the doors are closed. This door is closed. That door is closed. The other door is closed. And then you point out the fire exit. Aragorn uses it in the film The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King when he tells people that there may come a day when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of woes and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight. Apoi avem o anaforă. Ce anaforă? Nu anaforă. Anaforă, e o figură de stil. Ne-ai auzit, zice ce-ar fi. Ce-ar fi marea fără soare, ce-ar fi câmpul fără floare, ce-ar fi astăzi fără mâine, ce-ar fi viața fără timp. Încearcă să definească iubirea asta ideală folosindu-se de simbolul.